In terms of abuse with adults, there are 10 different categories or definitions of abuse. Um, physical abuse, which could involve an adult being hit, smacked, uh, restrained against their will. It's not always just a physical act, it could just be the threat of that. And that can actually result in punching, kicking, scratching, pushing, pulling people. Physical abuse can also include sometimes where people are using chemicals to actually force people into situations. Anything which actually is for forcing somebody using some external pressure or force onto them. Sexual abuse, which could involve inappropriate touching, intimate um, touching of, of somebody's genitalia, um, down to rape. It could be witnessing pornography, it could be indecent exposure, it could be people who aren't able to consent to certain acts or haven't given consent to certain acts. Uh, domestic abuse is where one person is living in a family situation or where they're sharing accommodation with somebody and one person is clearly abusing that other person. It might actually be in a form of physical abuse, sexual abuse, it could be psychological abuse where they're bullying them, it could be a whole range of the other abuses, but it's where one person is targeting somebody else within their own household. Emotional or psychological abuse could be threats of harm, threats of abandonment, refusal to let people see friends, let people see family, keeping people confined, degrading people, humiliating people, not letting people have their opinion, their freedom of speech, not letting them be themselves. Neglect is, is a failure to look after someone as you ought to be looking after them. Not giving them access to the right medicines that they need or things when they need them, food, water. Going to the toilet, having appropriate access to health care, all of these things are basic rights. So self-neglect may be where somebody deliberately is harming themselves, but also um, sometimes when you don't feel good about yourself, it's some of those day-to-day -day things that we all take for granted that we do, getting up, having a shower, washing your hair, brushing your teeth, can slowly slide and quite often the person themselves may not notice that they've stopped doing those kind of things. Someone might actually choose to buy a whole set of video games or films in opposed to buying food and they actually neglect themselves through that. Organisational abuse could be one-off or it could be ongoing. It is about poor practice within an organisation and that could be a number of things so that could be neglect it could be failure to meet needs, it could be physical abuse, emotional abuse, sexual abuse, financial abuse, um, but it's about abuse that takes place within an organisational setting. Financial and material abuse, again, is very clear usually. It's where people are having property stolen from them, and it's not always money. For the people we work with, quite often, taking away the one toy they've had all their life, which is a very much something about security, having that removed could actually be more challenging for them than having all their money taken. Discriminatory abuse is abuse of any kind that's on the basis or on the perceived basis of someone's characteristics protected under the Equality Act. So what we're looking at there is someone's gender, someone's race, disability, sexual orientation. It's where people choose to turn on you because you you may be from a certain religion or um, you may be in a different type of relationship than they are, uh, your colour, all manners of different things. More recently there's awareness been raised about uh, the condition of modern slavery where people are attracted into uh, forms of work for which there is no financial reward uh, and more ominously where they're not actually free to leave the conditions of work. Um, so uh, there's some sort of coercion or force used over somebody where they are not free to leave their condition of work and that falls under the uh, condition of abuse as well.